it's Juliet and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do videos on fashion, luxury, and travel, so if that's something you're into, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, I love this. <laughs> so this is it. Every time I come in here, I get so giddy. I'm so, so happy and grateful and just feel so blessed to have a space like this. Before we get into this closet space slash office, cause I count it because I have a desk here and a printer, okay? <laughs> but basically, before we get into this space, I wanna do a shout out to Mommy Silk. Mommy Silk is sponsoring this video, so thank you to them. I did a video with them last time where I talk a lot about the silk pillowcases that they have. I've been using them for two months, absolutely love them. This is actually one of their pieces, it's their sleepwear. I'm wearing it this entire video because it's just so comfortable and it has pockets, like this is amazing. Next up, we have this beautiful navy blue nightgown or as I'd like to call it, a blue nui color, similar to my Birkin that I have. I think it looks so classy and elegant. And actually, they are having a really big sale right now for all sleepwear items, even as low as $76, some of the pieces. And then they also offer this very beautiful, breathable, comfortable, and close-fitting comforter. I've been using that one for about two weeks now, so it's been really great. We usually sleep like with this huge like comforter, duvet situation that we always kick off because it's way too heavy and then we have like a thin blanket but with theirs we don't have to kick it off i don't have a cover over it but there's little parts of it that you can add a cover on it i just kind of left it as is for the purpose of this video so you guys can see the actual product as you guys can see they have other bedding options like this two-in-one deluxe cotton covered silk comforter which is really great because for the price you're getting two comforters that really last for all seasons so really love the smooth complexion of this comforter and personally i could see myself getting this one next as well as you guys can see they have so many great bedding sleepwear products we have a code for you guys it's a 15 percent off if you guys want to shop with them so definitely use it i'll put it down in the description below with all the links so that's it and now let's get into this dream 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 closet i guess like let's go through all the different pieces so this is my anthropology floor length mirror i think this is a seven foot one but i was dying to have this this is from our other place uh we actually did move so that's how come we have this space now but it's this floor length mirror which i really wanted just to style outfits with so i probably will do that a bit more now that it, there's not like a couch right behind me which is what we had it in our other place then over here we have just like my little workspace that my husband and i use I do work from home. I work in finance as my day job. So I'm here when I'm working. It's really nice. I open the blinds during the daytime and just kind of enjoy the nice view. <laughs> okay. Uh, and actually all these pieces here, I'm really into Facebook marketplace. So highly recommend just checking out for goods there. So really, really love it. Everything second, you know, previously used. I actually repainted this uh, desk. It used to be a brown wooden desk and I just painted it white. So now we have a rug here, which I absolutely love. I wanted something cream and not perfectly white just in case, again, there's some little staining because, you know, it's really hard to maintain pure white. So I really like how it has this really fun pattern. It's like kind of cream with like browns and blacks. So it's not easily noticeable if there's a scuff here and there. And then we also have here the CB2 Gwyneth Paltrow chair in the boucle materials. If you saw one of my other videos, I was doing an interview with, or not an interview, I was doing a video with Georgina on just an introduction to Hermes. So I have two of these chairs. The other chair is actually in the bedroom that you guys saw because we wanted a little reading nook. This will be here, but if I ever have someone over to do Q and A's, like I often did with Marie, who's a former Hermes artisan. Uh, shout out to Marie, she has her own channel, so definitely go check that out. Anyway, what you guys probably clicked on this video for is this back here. This is the beautiful setup that my husband built for me. So, so grateful to have him in my life. He is such, just a loving, loving man, and he was so kind to build this for me. Basically, I really wanted a closet that would really display all the goods that I do have since I do YouTube a lot as well as Instagram and TikTok. So this one here, believe it or not, is actually from Ikea. It's not the packed wardrobe, which 
a lot of people do have and love. This is actually the Besta collection. So the packs was actually sold out when I was looking, but then I realized that I actually preferred this personally for what I was going for. I think the Besta is more known for displaying items, whereas if you are looking to have like clothing, for instance, then I would say the PAX is a little bit better. That's just like my personal opinion. Also, I actually spoke to a family member who has a sibling who works for Ikea, so she was really great in helping me build this. I actually did design certain pieces myself as well. Like I, I noticed actually that they had this like glass shelving, so I really wanted glass shelving because I thought that kind of upgraded the look of it as well. And then I wanted this lighting situation too, so we did that. We actually added like two of these uh, long extender things so that the lights would come out a bit more. And then we have all these drawers here for storage that you just like press in and they pop out. So it's like that and then just easily press in. So very, very easy. I guess we could go through a little bit what's in here. I did do a handbag collection video already. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out since I'm not really gonna go into detail here. And then pretty much all these I have done a video on. I do have a designer shoe collection too. So I think all these are discussed already on my channel. Quick overview, but like I mentioned, pretty much everything here has been featured on my channel already. But what we have here are um, my wedding shoes. These are Jimmy Choo heels. I really love them. They have this like crystal uh, that's on the front that's actually removable if I want a little bit more understated look. They're really beautiful and just have a lot of sentimental value to me. Then we have my Chanel DeVille tote. I really was looking for a black and white tote bag, so I just fell in love with this one. It has two handles, it's really functional. This is on the crook of your arm, and then you have these long straps here with this leather for your shoulder so it doesn't dig in, which is really great. I also have my Chanel Oxfords here. This is in a smooth calfskin skin with this beautiful gold chain detailing and then this Chanel button. And then on the inside are this like CC gold detailing. I really love these shoes. They're a little bit more edgy and I think it's just really fun. Then over here, we have just some Hermes books. Actually, this is the first Hermes, I think like magazine is what um, I guess it's called. This is when I got my first Hermes bag ever, so has sentimental value to me. And then this one here is a gift from a friend, shout out to Georgina and Andrew. They gave me this Hermes pop-up book. It has beautiful just pop-up designs that are based on the silk scarves that Hermes has. Then we have my Probably my favorite, this is probably actually my favorite bag in my collection. I don't think I've ever said that, but it is. This is my Rouge V Hermes Kelly. Rouge V is the color, which is this beautiful red color. It's in the size 25, and the style is in this Kelly style. Really love it, it has gold hardware. Sometimes I switch out this Twilly. Then what we have here is my first ever Chanel bag. This is the Chanel Classic Flap in medium size with caviar leather and the gold um, hardware. I love this bag because it is so easy to wear. The caviar leather is just so durable. I don't really worry about it much. I actually did go partying in New York City. Funny enough, I went partying with Grace from Luxury Promise when I was there. I've been wearing this Chanel for uh, quite some time now, so I do know that the caviar leather is very hardy. And honestly, it looks like it's brand new still. The only thing that kind of has worn is the hardware does get scratches on it. But I found with gold, like especially that smooth kind of shiny gold, that's just bound happens. Then we have my Louis Vuitton Lorette boots. These are actually, I think, my first designer shoes ever. They have the beautiful Louis Vuitton canvas uh, detailing on the tongue as well as the back, which is really beautiful. It's in a black suede as well as leather trim and then a huge rubber platform. These are really great. I wear them pretty much every fall, winter since I've gotten them. And I feel like you can dress them up and you can dress them down as, um, as you see fit. Really, really love these. Moving on, we have, this is my Longchamp black on black tote. It's black on black because it has the black handles and then this part's black. I use this on an everyday basis and it's not really uh, that clean. I've had this for maybe like seven years now. It's a really old tote, but I love it to death and it's super practical. 
Then this is my first Hermes bag ever. This is my Birkin 30. Uh, the Birkin's the style, 30 is the size in blue Nui, which is this beautiful navy color. And then it's in gold hardware. This is my first Hermes bag ever, and I absolutely love it. I, again, it holds such a sentimental place in my heart. It was the hardest Hermes bag for me to get given uh, we went to a variety of stores in France and it was just really, really difficult. Um, but finally we did get it at an Hermes boutique. It's really beautiful and I do love that it's quite spacious. These are my Hermes Iran sandals in the black shirling. Don't get too close, it's really, they're really, really well worn. Then, then what we have here are my two Chanel cosmetic cases. This was like, I feel like a big thing over the holiday season when they came out. All right, then what we have here is my Hermes in um, size 25 palladium hardware. It's in this uh, smooth leather, which is called Swift, in this color Etan. This was one that I also got when I got my Rouge V Kelly, the Red Kelly, which was a pretty big deal for me to get two Kellys on a one week trip to France. So if you wanna check out that video, definitely check it out. I love this, it's a little bit more casual, laid back. As you can see, a little bit more slouchier feel like the Birkin, that's called the Retorn style. So really, really love that. Then what we have here are more of my like everyday kind of casual bags. So this is my Chloe Marcy bag in this black pebble leather. It's just really easy. It's in the size small, I believe. Then I got this bag from Demillier. It's this beautiful Santa Monica bag, which I really love in this cream color and gold hardware. I really love chunky gold hardware, so I loved it on a bag. I really love this. It's something that I wear on the wrists and then it has that cross body strap. Down here are my Ferragamo boots. Love them, just a really nice statement boot. Then what we have here are my Hermes Oasis sandals in the gold color. I wear these a lot more so with dresses, like when I'm going out for a day brunch or something like that. And then I have these Prada double wheel sneakers that I got most recently and they're my first ever Prada purchase. They're this nylon fabric, which is really great and resistant and durable. So that's why I really, really love them. I feel like I said I love everything, but that's probably why I bought it. <laughs> and I just want to say, if you're watching this and you're like, wow, like I, I don't know, like I want something like that, just know that you definitely can do it. It takes time. Nothing happens overnight. So if this is something that you're looking to build, uh, whether it be a collection or a closet slash office room, know that if you work really hard and you keep applying yourself, you'll definitely get there. At least that's my motto in life. I've always found that hard work over you know, a consistent period of time really pays off. So I believe in you. I think it's important for you to believe in yourself above all else. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments below. If not, I'm really excited to see you guys in next week's video. Actually, last point I wanna make, I'm doing another Luxury Promise Live video with Grace, who I mentioned earlier, love Grace. And we're doing that on Tuesday, so this coming Tuesday. And I highly encourage you guys to go watch it over there. I would love to see you guys in the comments. And yeah, I'm just really excited to be doing live shows with them again. So that's it for today's YouTube video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I really hope to see you guys next time. Bye!